Hey, Facebook family, good morning on this beautiful Saturday. I was not going to say anything until uh, Monday, but God had showed me this today, and I just thought I'd share it with you. Um, you know, as God calls us, okay, when he has things for you to do, okay, Sometimes we wonder why our kids are rebelling against us, maybe our wives or, you know, uh, or it, it's funny how it works because sometimes we get out of alignment with God, okay? And um, God lets me know when I'm out of alignment with him. And so we wonder why our prayers are not getting answered. We wonder why our maybe uh, kids are rebelling against us. I've even had instances where, where my dogs will not listen to me. Um, and, you know, my, my wife would rebel. And, and God would tell me, he says, you're rebelling against me. I'm telling you to deal with issues, son, in your, in your life. And you're not dealing with them. You're not submitting these areas to me. So since you're going to rebel against me, I'm going to cause everything under you to rebel. Hmm. Woo. I said, oh, God. And it is so crazy how that works because us as men, okay, God calls us to be, you know, I'm talking to the married people uh, and, and, and women too. You know, women, uh, you know, that's leading their house that don't have a husband. You know, sometimes, you know, we... we I made a statement a, a couple of days ago on the stupid statement, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, uh, that is true. You know, we have to, you know, we can't be in rebellion to our God and then expect our house to go smooth. It's not, it's, it don't work like that. And, and God will clear that up with you. He will tell you, hey, you're in rebellion towards me in a certain area of your life. I've told you to stop doing this. And so since you're rebelling against me, I mean, as soon as I got the thing right with my, uh, whatever God was dealing with me with, all of a sudden my dogs start listening. All of a sudden people start coming to me to minister. Because Jesus said, no man come to me lest I draw them. Bless, bless the Father draws them to me. And so <clears throat> we're wondering why people are not being drawn to us, why, um, you know, certain things are not. It's because certain areas in our life is not submitted to my Father, to our God. And so uh, God is saying, no, you're not, you're not ready yet. I'm not going to draw people to you because you're in rebellion towards me. I've seen it where a whole church, okay, had... Uh, was growing and growing and growing and got real big. And, you know, where the man of God got in rebellion towards God and had secret things in his life and the whole church scattered, okay? And that goes for our household. It goes for our household because God holds us accountable as the leadership of our house. You know, we want to lead people but have secret sins in our life. And then we're wondering why our life is on hold why come we not farther along? Because we keep playing with these secret sins that God is telling us to let these things go. Okay? And so, you know, and, and, and once again, you know, when David, it was time for David to become king, God drew people to him to help him support the mission. Okay? So, if people in your house sometimes is rebelling, check yourself. Ask yourself, Am I rebelling? And, and it could be a small thing that you're overlooking. Like, well, this ain't, the God don't care about that much. Yes, he does. Because he says the hairs of your head is numbered. He pays attention to detail. It could be an attitude. It could be, um, I, I mean, it could be lying. It could be deception. You know, the Bible says that God, uh, you know, uh, the wicked works of deceptive work. And the Bible talks about lying. It talks about, you know, just certain things that's blatantly wrong that's violating the word of God. And then we want God to bring people to us to minister to. No, it don't work that way. And so when the head of your house is out of order, 
the whole house is out of order. I've, I've seen that, like I said, I've seen it in every organization, you know, where, you know, uh, a man of God or, or people start out doing right, and that's just people. That's not saying nothing bad. I mean, David was a man that loved God the most, and he killed a man and slept with and took his wife. So people are people. I understand that. But I want to bring this to your awareness that, you know, when we, as the head of our house, are out of order, we have secret sins in our life. And you're trying to get up and you're wondering why your wife ain't listening to you or why your kids is rebelling. It's maybe because you're rebelling against God in an area of your life that God has said, hey, I'm telling you to listen to me because God is the one. That, and I saw this with my own eyes. When leadership in, a, in, in, in any organization is not right, he causes the sheep to scatter. He moves people away from them. Okay? And so when leadership is right, I've seen God gather in abundance people to them. So, you know, if, if your house is in an uproar, hey, you know, you might want to ask yourself, am I being the leader, the example that I should be? You know, do I have secret sins or things in my life that God is dealing with me about that I'm not dealing with? And like I said, he cares about the small stuff because he said the hairs of your head are numbered. You could be overlooking something. Like I said, it could be an attitude. It could be lying. that You, you, you lied so much where lying is just a normal thing. Well, God don't think so. It could be being dishonest, deceptive, or doing crooked business. You know, um, th these little things, man, matter to God, and you wonder why your prayers are hindered. I mean, you can have idols in your heart, in your life. You can have, this phone could be an idol in your life. Do you get up and talk to God first, or do you grab your phone first? Which, which one do you do? Do you check Facebook and Snapchat and, you know, Instagram first, or do you talk to God? You know, so we got to make sure that we keep the proper balance in our life, keep first things first, and, um, you know, just check, check yourself. Are you in alignment with God? Okay? Now, there's a flip side to that also that, you know, the Bible says that, you know, when you make a decision to follow God, there's going to be friction in the house sometimes because, <clears throat> um, you know, two will be over here, three over here because you've made a decision to serve God and then you got Satan living with you. You know, and that, you know the, the only solution for that is to put Satan out. Uh, but <clears throat> for the most part, are you being the example? Are you being the leader? Are you, you know, uh, got things in your life that God is saying, "Hey, you need to stop this." You want you want to be you want me to cause people to obey you. You know, once again, I my dogs rebel against me. My dogs, can you get that? My freaking dogs don't listen when I don't listen to God. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. And like they hard headed. It's like, and then when I start listening to God, all of a sudden my dogs submit. My wife falls in order. Everything falls in order when I submit these things to my to God. It's crazy how that works. And you you know the story in the Bible where there's a um, a prophet that was walking in rebellion. And God told the donkey, kept running his, his leg against the mountain, against the mountain. And then the, the prophet going to cuss the donkey. And the donkey said, why are you curse me? You get ready to run into this angel around the corner to chop your head off because he was rebelling against God. <clears throat> you know, so <clears throat> we, we have to, when, when our house is in disruption, our kids not listening, our dogs not listening, our wives or husbands not listening, we have to check ourselves and say, am I in rebellion towards God? Because God will cause everything around me to be in rebellion towards me when I rebel against him. So this is about relationship, guys. This is not about going to church. This is not about, you know, being religious. Because I don't like religion. I see religion messes people up. I'm talking about your relationship with God. You're talking to your father. You're hearing his voice for yourself, not for your mother your daddy. Or your auntie or none of that. I'm talking about you hearing God for yourself. you in a relationship and you talk to him every day for yourself. You seek him out for your major decisions. And we all have to develop that one-on-one. -on -one. So I just thought I'd drop that little tip for you.
<clears throat> Are you in rebellion? God is calling us to order and submission. You won't get to your destiny in rebellion. I promise you that. So uh, God loves you. I love you. But if he loves you, that's all that matters. This is Brother Bobby, and I will talk to you.